Hi friends, today we'll talk about operations on numbers under roots. Let's suppose A and B are any two positive real numbers. So, for them, under root AB is nothing but under root A multiplied by under root B. This also holds true for division. That means under root A by B is same as under root A by under root B. Also, root A plus root B multiplied with root A minus root B is equal to root A whole square minus root B square which is equal to A minus B. Also under root A plus under root B whole square is equal to root A square plus 2 times root A root B plus root B square which is same as A plus 2 root AB plus B. Now let us look at a few examples to help us clarify these properties. Now these properties are fairly similar to what we have seen for rational numbers. So it should not be a much of a difficulty to understand them. Say for example, we are asked to simplify root 3 plus root 5 whole square. Now this is nothing but root 3 square plus 2 times root 3 into root 5 plus root 5 square something similar to our rational numbers where a plus b whole square was equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now this is equal to 3 plus 2 root 15 plus 5 or 8 plus 2 root 15. Simple. Say if we have 5 plus root 3 multiplied with root 3 minus root 7, what will this yield? If you remember, for rational numbers, we knew that this bracket would be distributed over this bracket. That meant 5 would be multiplied with root 3 first, then with minus root 7 and similarly root 3 would then be multiplied with root 3 first and then with minus root 7. Let's look at what it will give. We will have 5 multiplied by root 3 minus root 7 plus root 3 multiplied by root 3 minus root 7 which you can further expand to have 5 root 3 minus 5 root 7 plus 3 minus root 21. This multiplied with minus root 7 would give you minus root 21. And then you can arrange these terms to have 3 plus 5 root 3 minus 5 root 7 minus root 21. Now let's look at another concept, a concept of rationalization. Now what do we mean by rationalization? This just means that if you are given a number where you have a rational number or an irrational number in the numerator and an irrational number in the denominator say root 2 then it becomes fairly complicated to imagine this number on a number line. 
Hence, it's better if we had the denominator as a rational number. To get a rational number at the denominator, we can multiply this full number by root 2 and divide it by root 2. That would give us 1 by root 2 multiplied and divided by root 2. Now the numerator would remain 1 into root 2 while the denominator would become root 2 multiplied by root 2 or the whole number becomes root 2 upon 2. Now you can easily visualize this number. That means first draw root 2 on the number line and then divide it into half. This would be root 2 by root by 2 or 1 by root 2. Simple. Now let's look at a little more complicated example. Say for example, you are asked to rationalize the given number 4 upon 2 plus root 3. Now you can see that the denominator is an irrational number. So how do you rationalize the denominator? If you remember, in this session earlier, we talked about a property where root a plus root b when multiplied with root a minus root b gave us a minus b. So if this was irrational and this was irrational, multiplying by this would have given us a rational number. We'll use the same trick here. What we'll do is we'll multiply and divide this full number by 2 minus root 3. 4 multiplied with 2 minus root 3 whole upon 2 plus root 3 multiplied with 2 minus root 3. Now you can see the denominator would become 2 square minus root 3 square and the numerator becomes 4 into 2 8 minus 4 into root 3 4 root 3. This is further equal to 8 minus 4 root 3 whole upon 4 minus 3 and 4 minus 3 is nothing but 1 and anything, anything divided by 1 remains the same thing. So this whole number becomes 8 minus 4 root 3. Now this is the rationalized form of the given problem of 4 upon 2 plus root 3. Now let's look at another example from your NCRT textbook which says 1 upon root 7 minus root 6. Now we are supposed to rationalize this fraction. As per the above example, we can again multiply and divide this full number by root 7 plus root 6. 1 by root 7 minus root 6 which is the given number multiplied and divided by root 7 plus root 6 and root 7 plus root 6. This gives us root 7 plus root 6 whole upon root 7 square minus root 6 square or root 7 plus root 6 upon 7 minus 6 and again 7 minus 6 is 1 this leaves us with root 7 plus root 6 so this is the rationalized form of the given problem To end the video, I leave you with a few practice problems. First, I would like you to simplify the following expressions. 5 plus root 5 multiplied to 
फाइव माइनस रूट फाइव सेकेंड वन रूट सेवन प्लस रूट टू मल्टीप्लाइड विथ रूट सेवन माइनस रूट टू एंड द लास्ट वन रूट थ्री प्लस रूट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड विथ रूट फाइव माइनस वन also rationalize the denominators of the following expressions 2 by root 5 plus root 7 3 by root 3 plus root 2 and 5 by 5 minus root 7 i hope you've understood the concepts of simplification and rationalization bye